Hey, this is Solomon and you're watching uh, Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack, how to power your base and how to what is power in general in Feed the Beast. Um, last episode we talked about generators, um, generator, geothermal, and thermal, and we actually saw how to power them, which is through coal for generator, lava for geothermal, and thermal, also lava. For, let's start with the basic. Um, what you want to do is actually take the power from the generator and plug it into uh, a storage system. Now, this already has an internal storage, but this is not enough. This is not enough for, let's say, you want to run a couple of machines on one thing, on one storage system. 4,000 is not enough at all. So let's say you want to plug in a better storage system to this. Now, what I have here is bad boxes. Bad boxes is also the basic level. So once again, generates the basic level of power system. And then bad boxes are the first level of storage system. So let's put a bad box down here. Now notice how I put it one away because I actually wanted to show you how EU per tick actually works. Okay, so this bad box, as you can see, it has some, it has many sides, one plug inside, and a lot of, I guess, input. What I call them is in, right here, input, 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 and then the bottom is also an input, and the top is also an input. So you can input from, what, five sides? And then the output uh, on, you know, I have, I have a texture pack, but it's gonna be a red circle right here. And this is where pretty much you plug in all different kinds of machines, and I'll get into the machines on later episodes. For right now, let's, yeah, let's pay attention to this. Um, let's see. So in order to plug this in, you see it says 10 EU per tick. What I have here is a copper cable, as you can see. When I plug in the copper cable from the generator to the bad box, it's going to start powering it at 10 EU, EU per tick. Now notice it already has 4,000 EU stored in there. So when I plug it in, it will start using, it will start using those 4,000 and transferring it to this bad box and also I have a coal and it will burn that to give it more energy so let's let's see that in action I'm just gonna plug this in you wanna hold on to when you actually plug something in you wanna hold on to shift and then right click and now you see this light up yep that means this is working let's look into it now this is going at 10 EU per tick meaning it's powering it from the generator to this at 10 EU now notice that the coal is gone. It actually used up the coal to sustain energy. Now that that's gone, the internal storage is being used. Now let's wa let's watch what happens when this internal storage is all used up. As you can see, it's being powered right here. So obviously the 4,000 is already used, and now now the full thing is used. One coal is 4,000 EU. Uh, we just did the math right there. This thing has 8,000, so on and so forth. And uh, I'll explain this EU out from the bad box when, you act when I actually do the tutorials on, you know, macerator, an elect electrical furnace, a compressor, and all that stuff. But for right now, to get energy from a generator to a bad box, what you have to do is do that bad box. Now, there are other ways to do this. Um, I used a cable just to show you what the cable does. The cable transfers this energy to this, and the cable could only carry up to 32 EU per tick. Now let's take these up. What I can do is I could just put it right next to it, just like that, and it will still transfer energy. Right now it's zero, zero as you can see, and this one also is zero. Let's put a coal in there. It's burning it, but look, it's not really getting any energy because it's transferring it automatically to right here. You could do this. Um, I, I do this sometimes to like conserve energy and to make it look nice, but it's really up to you how you want to do it. You could use copper cables all the way, and you know, well, it's for what, what your need is pretty much. Bad box. Really quickly, let's go, now that I've shown you the generator, the same thing applies for these two right here the geothermal and also the thermal generator. The same idea. I have a bad box. Now this thing already has an internal storage, remember, of 480,000. So all I'll have to do, I'm going to do this because I can. Copper cable, click, 
and look, sliding up. It's transferring the energy that's in there to this. This has a 480,000 internal. So you could use this bad box off, bad box up a couple of times before you have to worry about it. I always keep lava cells in there, you know, keep whatever, and then it will use it as it goes by, as you can see. Pretty simple, right? And watch this. I could also put a bad box right next to it. I could do the same thing as I did to the first generator. Is take this up, take this up, and then directly connect it. And the same thing will happen. It will start using the power and so on and so forth. I'm going to take this level away because I can. And I'm going to let that just power up. Now the last one, geothermal generator. Remember I said that it uses lava 50% more efficiently than the geothermal. Same idea persists. Let's say you want to power a bad box. I'll just put it right next to it for this time. And look, it will start powering it up. And it will tell you how much liquid it has. Oh, crap. Let me take this away. As you can see, this one has an output of 24 EU per tick. So per tick, it's taking 24 energy from this and transferring it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, um, the storage and there's different levels of storage that I'll go into later uh, when I actually go into the solar panels and how those work. But uh, for all of these, as you can see, it's 10 EU, 20 EU, and 24 EU. And then you don't have to worry about going into the next level of energy boxes. You could just use a bad box. Bad box has a 32 EU per tick out, and like, like I said, when I actually show you guys how to um, work a macerator and all the other stuff, I'll plug these into that. Until next time, have a nice day.